Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well. As you can see, the sun has come out today, so it's nice and warm. I'm going to chat today about um, finding solutions to problems. So when our mind is in a chaotic state, then that brings chaos to your life. You can't find solutions to problems when you're in that state of mind. You know, the answers to these questions, we already have them within us. But when we're in this type of state, it's very difficult to find the solutions. <laughs> you see Lynette at my shoulder there. And basically, it comes down to the way that we look at things, how we see things through our own mind and our own perceptions. And if we're looking at things through chaos, there's no solutions to be found. The only way we're going to find solutions is to go into a different state of mind. And that means to quieten the mind down to be able then to find the answers that we're looking for. So rather than being in a state of constantly analyzing, searching for answers, frantically looking, going over every single scenario that you can think of, that doesn't bring answers. It only brings anxiety and more chaos. All that does is keeps us constantly chasing our tail and going round and round in our mind, searching for solutions. But what you tend to find is within all that frantic chasing, we miss the answers because the mind is too frantic. What we need to do is to step back from the problem and in a sense, what you're doing is stepping back and not looking for an answer so that the mind can get a chance to quieten down because it's in this quiet state of mind the solutions will come. Now, they might directly come from inside of you. They can come from the outside, but it's only through a quiet mind that we're going to be able to see the solutions to the problems that we're facing. Returning the mind to a space of calm and quiet and looking at it in a way of not solving, this then allows the quiet mind free reign to be able to find the solutions and for it to come forward without all the chaos because in that chaos you can't see the answers and chaos only leads to confusion and then confusion leads to self-doubt and if we're in a state of self-doubt we don't trust what we're thinking and we don't trust the answers that are trying to come forward Shifting to a quiet mind then will allow that self-doubt to be taken away and it will bring confidence back in your ability to be able to deal with and handle the problems that you're facing in your life. That's where the true solutions will come from. And it's also about realizing that what we're trying to do through chaos can never work. It will never work now and it has never worked in the past. That the only way forward is to calm the mind and not look for solutions. Because we have everything inside of us to find the answers, but it can't be done through chaos. It can only come from a place of calm. And in that instant that we go into calm, we can find meaning 
and an invitation to drop the chaotic mind. And a big part of it is to leave the chaotic mind behind without objection and removing the barriers that the chaotic mind puts in our way in order to find solutions. And that will also remove self-doubt in our abilities to be able to solve things effectively. It takes a willingness within ourselves to trust ourselves, to let go and the answers will come. And it doesn't matter what the problem is, how big it is or how small it is. When we let go and trust ourselves, you will find that you do have the answers if you allow them to come forward. Chaotic mind is a mind that is running on fear. It's running on fear from past experiences and things that we have experienced that might not be so good. And you can never find answers there. It didn't work in the past. So going into that chaotic place is not going to bring you anything new. It's only going to bring you old things that didn't work. And you're just going to be chasing and analyzing and trying to figure out every single scenario that you can possibly think of. In order to solve the problems, you have to move forward into being open to something new, new solutions and new learning because that's the way forward. The only way to solve problems is to be able to allow something new to occur, not something old from the past that hasn't worked in the past. And even though you might not find the answer straight away or you might not have found it yet being open and in a calm state of mind to learn and try new things will eventually bring the answer that you need or the answer to get you going on that road forward to the final solution trusting and having a belief in yourself that you know the right thing to do and that going into past chaotic thinking can never bring anything good and can never lead to a good solution. It will only lead to a frantic solution. So the most important thing is to let go of the frantic mindset let go of the constant trying to solve the problem, the searching and the analyzing. Let it go so that you can go into a calm state of mind and ultimately letting go of the need to control the situation. Letting go of control will allow the mind to calm down and eventually it will bring you the solution that you need. So until next time, take care and have a lovely day.